What is up, everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, and welcome to episode number four of our new Clustered Iron Mine server series, which combines the old Ragnarok series, exploring Ragnarok in game, with the Aberration series that we've been playing most recently, plus a new fresh island map, which we are starting to get established on, and we're going to work on that some more today but in a way that ties in with all the rest of this. So behind me here, last time I was taming a bunch of Rexes and breeding some and getting ready for some boss fights, which has not been my thing up until now, but I'm actually getting kind of excited about it. And it's going to open up some tech stuff. Now there's some tech stuff I want and some tech stuff that I don't want. But that's kind of besides the point right now. I don't think I ever want a tech suit. I think that would just ruin the game. But I do want a tech transmitter pretty badly. <laughs> Especially now that we're doing this whole clustered thing. Anyway, I've talked about that already. And we've got plenty to talk about with these Rexes as far as breeding them up and getting the best stats possible and trying to get some stat mutations and combining them with the best Rexes that are on the server. And so this whole thing, like I said last episode, it's going to become a Rex taming pen. Now, this is how we're going to tie the island into that today, is I need to build some gates and some fences. And I don't want to just do it in stone. Um, besides the fact that this is Giga territory and Gigas can damage stone, uh, there was a Giga right over here yesterday, a 114. And it's probably still here, but I taunted it and let it up the river over to there, uh, way up there. So hopefully... It won't be back for a minute, but yeah, Gigas can break through stone, but I also just want to do the metal glass look, because uh, I like it. It kind of suits the tech thing anyway, and you can look through it and see all the scenery and not just look at stone walls. So I want to build that, so I need a bunch of metal and crystal. Normally, I go all the way up to the center of the map over there to get that. But this time, I want to see if I could set it up a little differently. I want to set up a forge over by the blue obelisk on the island. And that could mean that metal and crystal are this close, like right here. <laughs> you know, you'd have to transfer stuff back and forth and all that. I don't know if it's any more convenient, but I don't think Quetzals could be any slower for taking Ankies back and forth and transpo transporting materials. We did talk about getting some basilisks on here and using them as the new transport mode, and we may do that. But anyway, I want to do this. So I've spent about three days now. Hopefully this guy is not going to get temperamental and attack me. What level are you anyway? i got to move on, though. I don't have much time to do all the things I want to do. I know these guys are pretty bad-tempered. You gonna get mad? Yeah, I guess they don't get mad at Griffin's getting too close. Thought they did. All right, well, hopefully this won't go bad. <laughs> but looking in here, in data, you can see that I have done quite a bit of preparation. We're gonna make a whole little community center over there, and there's stuff that I've already pulled out over there, so that's not even all of it. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. You're just blending your camouflage. So we're going to go do that. Let's put the griffin up here over on this platform. Hopefully it'll be fine and hang out and wait for our return. So, yeah, I spent about three days getting that ready, uh, designed, parts made, and then getting it all packed up into there. Oop. Try that again. And let's not forget I have a little shine horn on me. I want to bring it to light up if I'm building at night and stuff like that. And just so it's not lonely sitting there at the lighthouse by itself all the time. It's got a bunch of seeds and stuff on it too. I should take those. And then while I upload my nice little shine horn, there was also a little break in my recording there. You going to go up? Yep. Because, and I'm going to start traveling right now. I spent a couple days improving, hopefully, uh, my audio, my mic audio as well. I got some new equipment. I got a new mic processor preamp, 
It's called a DBX286S, and it's going to help me sound better when I'm streaming and when I'm collabing with other people, because my mic's a little weak when it's uh, just on its own. Even though it's a really good mic, it's a Shure SM7B, and then I got a new interface and for that to go into the computer with, I got an Audient ID4. For all you guys who know any of that stuff, and because I was getting some cracks and pops before, and I think my old interface had gone kind of bad. So I kind of went for it, spent some money. Hopefully it's going to work out well. I'm still dialing it in. So if the audio is not quite right this episode, bear with me. We'll work it out. So I've got sleeping bags up here, a couple of them. And we're going to go on up there right now. All right, we have arrived into the cold frostiness of this place. And why is my stamina down? I guess it takes some stamina to come over or, or it just takes a minute. Anyway, I've got one sleeping bag left here. I'm a little cold, but I've got some fur gear stashed up here so we can do that in a second. And it looks like Trigger Pug already has a very, very, uh, drably colored Anki up here. You gotta get some a little bit more color on that guy, man. He's so boring. And oop, and I'm walking into things. And then over here, I've got an Anki of my own ready to download. Um, but actually, let's go ahead and download this Griffin. And sure, we can go ahead and download the Anki too. I wonder if that works to do it like I just did. Unless I'm moving too fast for it, probably. Okay, let's get you down. There we go. And then in my data, do I have the saddle here? Yeah, there's this Anki saddle. So let's download that. Oh, and let's get my shine horn back too. Let's get all this stuff and leave nothing but a pteranodon in there. So hopefully I can get this built quick enough. We're gonna build a whole community center here. It's gonna be a forge and it's gonna be whatever it needs to be. You coming? All right, there we go. We got everybody. And then hopefully it's going to be good looking as well. So we'll see about that last part. <laughs> uh, let's grab some things. We're going to need to unload this as we go along. And I won't do that all with you right now. Let's put some of it on the Anki. And let's just put all my seeds back on the shine horn. That's it, what it seems like it wants to eat. Okay, we got everybody up here. And they're probably all on follow right now, too. Yep. So, yeah, this is a pretty harsh place. I used to think it was really harsh until I dealt with the murder, murder snow in Ragnarok. But now, after that, this seems like nothing. So there's metal and crystal all over the place down there. It's a really rich spot. So we have to build out of the way. So you can see I already got started. I put a stone cliff platform down all the way over here because I thought that this would be out of the way enough. But this area was not very flat. It didn't have a whole lot of space to build on. And so I'm hoping that the cliff platform is going to be the solution for that. You can kind of see underneath how kind of jagged it was. I had remembered it being a little flatter over here than it actually is. So, and I went ahead and put the cliff platform down already because that was kind of finicky. Oops, you're doing that thing. All right, got the animals moved up out of the way and I went ahead and put on a little fur. Just one chest piece I think will be enough for now. It's not too bad up here. Like I said, Ragnarok really got me used to much harsher conditions. Anyway, like I said, I went ahead and put down this cliff platform already and just stuck it so that it had as much surface area as possible. It was kind of over this way as much as possible. And then I went ahead and I did the finicky bit too of placing these down because there is this big protrusion into the cliff platform and the forge outpost community center that I want to make takes up a certain amount of space. I couldn't just put it in the center of here. So these 
I'm going to show you a picture real quick of what the base looks like. So here's that. It's a circle. The actual structure doesn't really go out to the furthest edge, but um, I still, you'll see why it's as big as it is. It's not that big, really. It's got a fairly small footprint, but these two square foundations I'm standing on are in the back of that, and I've moved them over a little bit this way and as much this way as they can go to try to get the building footprint outside of that little cliff edge. Be nice someday if we got cliff platforms that you didn't have to stick into a cliff, that platforms that you could just put however you want. I guess that's a mod called Platforms Plus, but cliff platforms are in vanilla. So we're gonna work with that, even though the rest of this build is gonna be mostly uh, Structures Plus. So let's go ahead and grab some of the things we're gonna need for that. So with this placed, I should be able to come all the way around. And it's basically two of the square foundations and then three of the triangle foundations. Now that won't quite snap there. It almost seems like I've gone a little too far, but I don't think I have. I think I can go ahead now and let's see, let's get put that there. And then I should be able to, I just had to pull the picture up for myself actually, so I could reference it here, but that would go there. And then I can use that to snap that there. So yeah, two squares, three, eight triangles, two squares, three triangles all the way around. And it pinches in a little bit here, but I think that's gonna be all right. We'll definitely have to work with that. So there is that. That is the full outer perimeter of the building. Now I just need to go ahead and place the inside. So it's a little opposite than this usually goes. Usually you start from the center, but since I pre-built it and took picture, I'm able to work this out, but basically, oops. Here's the center. We made it all the way there. And from the center, every one of the flat surfaces comes out as a square. And I need some more squares. Let's grab some more of those. I think we can handle them all right now. And then keep going like that and then between them of course goes the triangle and then every one of those spaces becomes a bigger triangle and so this extends out with a square you know there's different patterns you could do this and i am clearly using these a lot to make uh circular ish buildings because you know i'm not very tolerant of just squares and for the style that this one's going to be in, this look is actually going to be pretty good. I debated whether I was going to show you the whole thing ahead of time, a little preview, you know, before I took apart my pre-build, but my server mates, mostly, there was a little bit of different opinion, but the consensus or the, at least the majority opinion was that I shouldn't show you first because uh, I should build a suspense so you can actually see the build develop as it goes along. So you guys tell me what you like. Do you like to see it ahead of time or do you not want to see it till the end? Because it is kind of a spoiler. I mean, you will see it in the thumbnail. The thumbnail is definitely a little bit of a spoiler, but <laughs> anyway, one thing I will give away is this is going to have sort of a castle turret look, uh, something I haven't done too much. So the circular part is going to work well with that to make it look sort of tower-like. And I can tell you right now too, this video is going to go a little long, but that's what happens when I build with you guys. It's just how it is. So we're going to make the front entrance here. 
Originally, how I designed the front entrance is where we had the triangle section because that's twice as wide as the square sections, and I wanted to be able to put down at least the dino gate. I know that we can make dynamic gates nowadays, but a dino gate's actually going to work just fine for this. Now, I've got this rock right here. I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to deal with that, if we're going to deal with that, and what that does. I mean, we definitely have to get over it, and we can't get over that. The way I'd made it before, the dino gate goes right here. So, got to figure out what happens to get you up. We could get some ramps and use those to get on over. Um, if we're going to use a ramp, though, we're either going to have to put a wall down first or we're going to have to come up from here. Let me, let me demonstrate. So we could do that and then come up like that. Which it should let me do. But then I still need to come out that way. Or, I don't know if I'm going to have enough extra walls. Actually, let me go make a material run to the obby. And we'll grab some stuff now that I can get over. <laughs> and this, by the way, is an Anki that I just bred for this purpose. So it's not at its full weight yet. It'll get there. All right, I went ahead and just got all that stuff and put it in the box here so I can stop making trips. Use my new griffin here, who's in my way. Use me, griffin. This also is a new uh, beast. This one was a 168. I tamed very recently and just started leveling it up. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to play with was instead of doing it that way, we could do it. Let's see if this could go in there. Yeah, so you can come back from a wall with a ramp. This is the one part I didn't figure out because here we are on site and I didn't have this issue uh, where I built it before. And then once you get up like this, then you'll need to come back down. That could be enough or maybe we could have a ceiling coming out uh, a little further that and then come down and this is going to mess up my piece count a little bit but i brought some thatch and some wood so that i could build stuff here if i had to you gotta take that one off first otherwise you'll lose this one um so i think i'm going to do it that way and then we'll see how that goes as far as you know a functional entrance we're going to need to be going in and out quite a bit harvesting with the Anki, getting metal, and stuff like that. Crystal. So, yeah, how do I do? I put the wall there, and then I came down with the ramp. And then ceiling. And then the ramp. And that one blends in with the terrain fine. We're going to need another one going down right there. But that's enough to get us inside... And then I had extended, made a little foyer, a little extension of the uh, entranceway here, just to make it a little bit more functional. Um, so brought it out. I think actually just that much. I'll have to look again at my diagram. But we'll do that for now. And of course, uh, we can always change it. So if we did it this way, so we don't mess up my original design. Then the gate would go right there. So let me get that in place too. So, and yeah, it will snap here. Is it backwards? Yeah, it is backwards. So that means I need to do it from this side. Yeah, and that's our way in and out. It's a little weird having this ramp right here. The only other thing I could do would be to raise this whole thing one foundation high. But that's a lot more pieces, and Structures Plus doesn't play well with stacking foundations, even though it says it does. And then little things like this also would become like total pits that you would get stuck in. <laughs> anyway, 
Okay, we'll leave it like that. Here, you gotta move out of the way again. So this whole thing, the main purpose of it is to hold a forge, which is right here. So let's go ahead and put a forge down right in the center, pretty much. Let's bend down and press that. And let's get this placed all nicey nice. It's almost good just like that, I think. Something like that. Let's do it. Okay, we're done. We've got the blue obelisk forge on the island. Let's go back. <laughs> no, but that, I mean, even all this would be extra. That is the main thing we needed up here. If we wanted to forge stuff up here, and then the idea would just be put ingots back in the obelisk. It'd be nice to have this all the way over there, but then of course we would block spawns. And I'm hoping this is far enough away that we won't block any spawns. Uh, I think the foundations right under me right here would be the thing to do it we have the spawn radius turned down to 0.5 you know and so i think this stuff will be fine at the very worst if you lost a couple things right here wouldn't be the end of the world because there's so much stuff up here and it goes all the way down the mountain too there's a ton of metal and crystal so the concept for this was basically having a forge in the middle and then this like tower like thing that contained it that had a ramp that goes around to the next level above the forge where there'd be more space uh, for storage and dinos and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to make. So let's go ahead and get some windows and some doors. That's probably too many and some walls. And start with that. And I'm too heavy. Don't need those. Can I move now? Just barely. Okay. So here, we're just going to go all the way around. Actually, it wasn't there. It was on this level in here. So here, we're going to put these and it's a little bit more difficult actually now that we've got those foundations before i should have actually put that outer ring down last but it was important for the uh, placement of the whole thing but you know it's easy enough so i originally went all the way around with windows and like a solid cylinder but then i realized the thing didn't really look like it could support itself it looked a little too paper thin so i added this part on here and you'll see afterwards what these do but these are just basically like supports little buttresses for the building to give it shape and interest but also uh like i often say architectural integrity like the thing would actually hold itself up so i'm gonna go all the way around and that pattern, basically every time there's a triangle sticking out right here, I'm going to build this little thing like that. And you'll see, oh, I didn't mean to do you, hit you, I meant to hit you. You'll see how that works in in the end. And then in between them, it's just windows. I could put a door here, I guess, for a balcony. Um, but there'll be enough of that upstairs. So I don't think we really need it right here. Um, <laughs> you're risking your own life stepping out there. We're so high up here. Oh, it does render in before. I guess it was the storm. Um, but we're way the heck up here. That'd be a great glider ride to jump off of there, but I'm not going to do it right now. Anyway, I'll meet you once I get all the way around. Okay, we made it all the way to here. So there's four of those little buttress things. There would be a fifth here, but this is the entrance. And then just to finish off the little entrance, the foyer, I was calling it, a little antechamber or whatever the architectural word for it is. We're going to put a door there just because we might want to come through that way. And I guess just because I had it this way, 
in the pre-build. We're gonna put a door there. And then windows. I'm always about the windows, never enough windows. And then generally my classic window is the door on top of the window because these things are just too small. So, but we can go ahead, put a wall on top of that one, and then it's gonna go around like that. All right, it's already starting to feel like something. We feel contained, feel safer. Should put a, I uh, wonder how the gate is gonna do on that. It's gonna be a little weird. Let's check it out. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just have to accept that it goes through like that. Let's switch you to manual because you're going to drive me crazy. Yeah, that's a little weird, but, you know, I'm not the one who put the rock here, and there's no way for me to shave it down. So we'll just live with that. I think that'll be all right. Okay, so now we need to get up and around this way. So I believe I started the ramp right here and we're just going to need stuff to put it on. How did I do this? Oh yeah. Okay. So ramps can't just go up. They need to come down for some reason, the way it works here in arc. So we're going to need that. And then let me see. I think we can put the doors away for now. We will keep needing walls. And let's grab a few more of these. And we're going to need some of these too, I think. No, we're not. Not yet. We're, but we're going to need these. Okay. Let's see if I got it right. Okay. So on the places where there's triangles, we're going to need to build out. And that actually means that that window didn't need to be there. So let's take that off because that's just going to get covered over right away. And we're going to put walls there instead. This is going to mess with the symmetry of the windows outside a little bit, but that's okay. Let's just get, make it a little quirky. And then the windows for this one then are actually going to go up here because now we build out. And once I show you this one time, the pattern is going to repeat itself. So we above, you just use the foundation as a guide. And then from there now, we have a purchase from which to take down the ramps. And you can still access this just fine. And you got this whole side. It just digs into it a little bit right here. You can pretend that's a handrail. And look, we're already coming up here. So now we're going to need to go up again. So every time we need to go up, it's these guys that are going to get us there. So we do that and then we come back around here and bring out the ramps. So now it gets a little tricky. Uh, we need to get, uh, we need to go a level up. Basically I'm going to need some walls at this point. At some point I'm going to want to bring this inside because we're going to have to keep running out here. In fact, Let's go ahead and do that too. And I'm going to need my transfer gun, which I don't need to seem to have anymore, but that's okay. We'll just get that no matter. And then what I really came here for was some more of these. All right. I don't want to get too heavy, kind of heavy. Oh, and I should have grabbed, made the, uh, transfer gun already i'm sure as soon as i make that i'm going to find the one i already had let's put that there and then these alcoves are actually great little places for storing stuff so what we're going to put let's just put this right there and then if i thought ahead to grab this first can i do that yes and we're going to bring all this stuff inside. Right now it's a mixture of some of my personal weapons and stuff that I took off to free up weight and then all the building parts. But now we should have them all in here. So that'll save us a little running back and forth. Anyway, um, 
yeah, I was going to put some walls on here because we need to keep going levels up. And this is kind of just the trickiest part of this build. It's really not that bad, but I've got these four high walls that I want to use wherever I can because it turns four building pieces into one. And that should make it a little easier on the uh, frame rate. You know, the, the engine has to cal do a little less calculation. Um, and the only way to know where you can do that is just to finish this part first. And get this all built. Oh, you know what? And I forgot something too. In these alcoves, there's got to be some support. And so the support is going to come from the good old double door frames. I love double door frames. And we are too heavy. Always too heavy. Is that good enough? Yeah. So we got enough space for this. It also gives it a little bit of structure too. Uh, right there. So those go there. And then we're just going to bring it up. If it'll let us. Finicky placement. Right there. And then these are going to be three high, and I'll show you why. Yes, I actually rhymed on purpose. <laughs> All right, so those go there. And... Man, this video is going to be long enough. I almost could have streamed it. But hopefully doing this with you guys, not just showing you the before and after, is more useful. Uh, okay, so that's there. All right, so where are we at? We need to go to our next level, which is going to be here. It's going to be two above here. The problem with the four high walls is that they don't have little placement points at the midpoints where these walls have them. So that makes them insufficient for doing this stuff. So... When you actually need to use that placement point, you got to use the regular walls. Well, these are S plus regular walls, but you know what I mean. And then the ramps would come down from there. Can I do it from here? Yes, I can. All right. And then we're going to go yet another level up from here. So that's going to be three walls high. And still not quite high enough to have put the uh, the big walls. But we're almost there. We're almost up high enough. We want to come high enough that we're one building piece above that. Because that's the point where it won't burn you anymore. So to get up here now, we can actually use that. And then that gives us way to come up here and place things makes it a little easier than jumping especially when you can't jump that high anymore all right and then i think i still got another level or two to go up so let me just think about what i'm doing real quick here i built this in a different order before i think i got to go ahead and finish this front bit. So let's go ahead and do that because I'm going to need the support. So this is going to be four high in order to match the uh, the front gate, basically. So I'm grabbing some of those. These went all the way up there, so go back down. So just four high so that evens up. And I'm going to go ahead and just place this, this, Real quick. Okay, and then we need ceilings on that to provide support for our next level. So, and hopefully these work out at, at a decent height. I didn't build it in this order before. When I designed it, this part came on later as an afterthought, and then I remove walls. But we'll see. So yeah, these outsides, you just follow the foundation to figure out the roof pattern. And these parts are triangles. Come all the way out to here. And then I need my ceilings again. Do I have any? 
I don't think I do. So we need four ceilings. One, two, three, four. And ceilings can live. We don't need double doors anymore. All right, so. Don't place like that. Yeah, you can place like that. Perfect. All right, excellent. So we have that. So now we can use that as a place to put walls, doors and stuff um, for up there. So let's see if we can get some of these up here and not get too heavy. Cover that up. A little heavy, but not too bad. And we're going to need to restock on triangle ceilings pretty soon. But then after we get this ramp done, this kind of informs how the whole rest of this build can go. So here, I think we'll just put, forget if I put windows or regular walls here. I'll find out at the end if I run short on either one. <laughs> and is that gonna be at the same level? That's a little higher. So let's see if we have a lower point we can put that on and we may not because yeah what if i give it a wall underneath will that give us a lower snap point just to keep it even as it goes all the way around Whoop. all right so let's see that gave us options did we want that one See if they'll behave for me all the way around. So far, so good. And then here, I'm going to put a door actually as a way to get up here. Not there. No, that one. No trees up here. Although I could probably get plenty of stone from the metal nodes. I'm trying to be conservative with the building parts. All right. And then here is where we get into our first bit of the castle look. Let me just go ahead and place these around. Trying to get that same level snap point. Um, I'll just keep going and then go back and fix the ones that misbehaved. There might be some reverse psychology in some of these where they act like they're going to place one way and then they change their mind. I find in these kind of things lately, it's just good to just get them all down and go back for the bad guys, which is you, you, and you. And you. All right, I'm gonna get these fixed. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, there we go. And with that, you can see the first of that really castle-like turreted look we're going to have up on the top, too. So we've got this little little protection point in the entrance here where we can get up here with some arrows or some siege weapons and toss things down at the invaders coming to get all the metal and crystal that we worked so hard to harvest with our Anki. <laughs> I guess it's the Anki that worked that hard. Got a little bit of freeze point here. I've been finding that happening on the island, but uh, I'm just going to ignore it and not mention it again. Now, hopefully that I put those things up there, I can go ahead and take these off because these were just helping with the placement. And that is indeed the case. So now we just need to finish going around the top there and finishing up our ramp. Like I said, we're done when we get one higher than the forge because in my testing that's what i had to do to not get burnt to make a ceiling above here so uh we're just going to go ahead with some more walls and they're actually going to need to be right there to get the triangle that's down there Okay, and then now we can have our way up. And we're missing a triangle. And this is going to come up 
And then we're going to need one more triangle. And now, let me see, we got one, two, three, four. Well, that's high enough now that we can do the, the bigger walls. These are really heavy. So I can't grab too many at a time. It would be these guys. And that gets us up real quick and really reduces our piece count. So two two pieces served the, the job of eight. And a little separation. <laughs> Drive me crazy, but not gonna talk about that again either. And then we're gonna put these up there so that we can build uh, this again. And this should be as high as we need to go. We are now one piece higher than the forge. So with that, we should be safe. And I'm pretty sure that's how I did it before. Hopefully it got that right. Um, okay, so we need one more of these. And then this is gonna be an upper floor, but still enclosed. So we just gotta build up to that. I think I have a place here where I can put a wall right there. And then certain rules I gave myself in order to make this work. So wherever this landing is, I put windows. And hopefully they're all the lower points. Not really sure. We got to see what would match up over here. But these are going to be a little different, actually. Now, let's pick that up and let's assume that it's the lower point, because I think the lower point is the wall, the higher part is the ceiling. We want that, so yeah, every one of these is gonna get those. Okay, so we mainly got built down here. We just need to look down here and see what else uh, needs to be finished. So let's go ahead and finish these little buttresses, I was calling them, and those are gonna need these. See, we got so many things we need to find spaces for on our hotbar here. And these, and then these stone triangle roofs. All right, we won't drink any more water. <laughs> so let me see which ones go where. So that's going to be yeah, a one and a two. A one and a two. And then here, these guys are just going to want to angle down from there like that and that's going to create a nice little shape and then i gotta see up above if i can put a tall wall there or not i'm gonna put those wherever i can so i'm just gonna go through now and do the other three just like that a one and a two and cue around till i get the right placement for this guy right there. All right, there's the last of those. And then that is, how many pieces is that? That's one, two, three, four. So that's a place we can use the big walls and we're gonna put them wherever they can fit in down here. So let's see, we can get rid of those for now, I think. And can I fit any more big walls? I think so. All right, so the, will this match up? Yes. We can fit four of those in right there. And then there's some spaces where we can fit them in over here too. I think, yeah, as long as they're right on top of these guys, it works out. So there's at least two more places that we can put these. And apparently I've got three of them. So there's one more place for one somewhere, maybe. Okay, those go there. And, and that might be it, but that completes this whole bottom floor. Here, so we got plenty of nooks and crannies, going to be places for fabricators and smithies and all that kind of stuff in here and little storage places. So yeah, this is the functional little tool area down here, the workshop. And I think 
this with these alcoves and everything should provide enough storage and workspace. Hopefully, we shall see. But let me keep going upstairs. Let me check on where I'm at. So yeah, at this point, this is going to need to be just regular walls because it's three and not four. That and just keep filling in to get to the same height all the way around. Okay, and there it is. Now we are up here. So now I got to make a floor. And we're getting there. This build's coming together. It's a long kind of semi-complicated build, so there's no way to really do it super quickly. So I know this video is going to be kind of long. We'll have to decide what to do about that, and I'll see whether or not I um, divide it into pieces or what. All right, folks, this video is going pretty long, so I think I'm gonna divide it into two parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first part and got something out of it, and I hope it's good enough that you will then join me for the second part. So thank you for watching to the end of this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.